Thanks, guys. And you said it. A busy weekend, Will, for winter sports. Mm -hmm. But it's April, the month that brings Mayflowers. No, I totally saw snow outside. It's got to be winter, right? Ah, it's Midwest. No seasons ever, you're no, right. No, not at all. The Iron men's tennis team hosted Indiana and Purdue for a senior weekend, and the matches were as close as they were emotional. Friday night with the Hoosiers, Kremelop won his match, but the Hawks dropped 4-3. to three. Senior Josh Silverstein lost 6-love, six 6-love love, six love in his match against Purdue, but Jake Jacoby lost his match in a closer three-setter to give the Hawks some momentum moving forward. In the, yep. Number two senior yep. freshman Peter Simanta took his match over rival Poe Ropuk to knock off the Boilermakers 4-3 and improve the 3-6 in conference play, setting up the Hawkeyes with important road matches against Michigan and Michigan State. It's something that we've talked about all year, you know, being resilient, um, coming out every match, competing hard, being mentally tough, playing as a team, playing with energy, and you know, no matter we win or we lose, we're all trying to play the match the same way, and um, you know, guys were able to put Friday night you know, behind them and give a good day of practice yesterday, take care of their bodies, and then, and then come back today and you know, be mentally tough and resilient and do all the things we want and, and get a win. The Hawks will return to Iowa City to host the Big Ten Championships from April 26th to April 29th. And despite the weather this weekend, Iowa golf team hit the links in the Hawkeye Invitational. Yeah, the Hawks finished second in the tournament. That was cut 18 holes short due to the rough conditions we saw this weekend. Jake Rowe started off strong for the Hawks with this par on the first hole, followed up by Alex Shockey, who stayed consistent with pars on holes 7, 9, and 12, while Sam Murat was able to birdie here on 15. While some islands called it the worst conditions they have ever played in, other Hawkeyes thrived recording their best scores of the season so far. It was hard. Uh, that's the least I can say. It was probably the most difficult conditions I've ever played in. Um, Given that, I think I've probably that's probably the best I've played all year. And uh, I was 300 through 13 and ended up even par, but you know, I just had a few bad shots down the stretch. But you know, I kept my composure really well, and uh, our whole team did. Iowa will travel to Columbus, Ohio this weekend for the Robert Kepler Invitational. The Hawkeye softball team hosted Big Ten rival Minnesota Thursday and then Friday night for a doubleheader. The Hawkeyes struck first with Mallory Killian scoring in the bottom of the fourth. The Gophers answered with a run in the top of the seventh inning to send the game into overtime when the, when the Gophers packed on five runs and won 6-2. In game two, the Gophers spared no time by scoring three runs in the top of the first inning. They scored six more in the fourth and ended the game with a two-run home run by catcher Kendall Lindemann in the fifth. The Gophers won 11-1 and swept the Hawkeyes in the series. It's never an easy series. Any team on the western half of this conference is not easy. They're all above us in the RPI except for one. And so every time we step on the field, it's an opportunity for us to technically knock off someone. Uh, so, <clears throat> yes, I'd like to come in here and think, yeah, we're going to sweep them. But I think we have the opportunity to. But they're too good of a club for us to just assume that. Um, you know, we've got to take care of every game one game at a time, one pitch at a time, one second at a time. And uh, we'd let that get out of our hands a little bit this weekend. And, um, you know, you got to tip your hat to them, to Minnesota, to Well, they didn't play great defense. When we were on the bases and when we were moving, they made mistakes. We just didn't give ourselves a chance to do that very often. We apologize for technical difficulties, but the women's softball team, they'll get a break from conference play when they face Western Illinois on Tuesday. On Sunday, the Hawkeye women's soccer team faced off against Winona State and got 6-2 spring ball win. Four minutes after Iowa scored the first goal of the game, junior Devin Burns added another goal to the board. Off an off-balance pass from freshman Adriana Namaski. Later in the game, junior Emma, Emma Tokuyama drove the ball down the field and knocked it to Burns, who circled around a defender before sailing the ball over the goalie to notch her second goal of the day. Iowa took this one 6-2. You know, we've had a good, good, a great spring in terms of uh, training and um, our, our preparation, of, um, and uh, we've had a lot of improvement amongst uh, our players. But um, you know, our biggest thing is being consistent. You know, in terms of goal scoring, we scored six goals today. Um, you know, I'm not probably not super happy about giving up two goals def defensively, but but um, but we're pretty happy about you know with our performance. And that's it from us in sports. Be sure to tune in tomorrow for the first installment of Beyond the Swarm, where we sit down with departing members of the Iowa football team. And we give you highlights from volleyball spring game. Guys at the desk, back to you.